Well, good evening and welcome here to my place. I am here doing my Sunday Bible reading. Um, so we are going to be reading um, Genesis chapter 7 tonight. So without further ado, let me get that open in the Bible and um, we are going to start reading. Let me get my glasses on. <laughs> okay. This is the Old Testament. Their great flood. Then the Lord said to Noah, come into the ark. You and all your household, because I have seen that you are righteousness before me in this generation. You shall take with you seven each of every clean animal, a male and his female, to each animal, to each of animal that are unclean, and male and his female, also seven each bir each of birds of the air male and female to keep the species alive on the face of all the earth for after seven more days i will cause it to rain on the earth for earth 40 days and 40 nights and i will destroy from the face of the earth all living things that i have made and Noah did according to all that the Lord commanded him. Noah was 600 years old when he flood water where were on the earth. So Noah with his sons, his wife and his sons' wives went into the ark because of the waters of the floods of clean animals of animals and that are uncleaned of birds and of uh, everything that creeps on the earth. Two by two, they went into the ark, Noah male and female, as God has commanded Noah. And it came to pass after seven days that the water of the floods were on the earth. In the 600 years of Noah's life, in the second month, the 17th day of the month on that day all all of the fountains of the great deeps were broken up and this wind down of heavens were open and the rain was on the earth 40 days and 40 nights on the very same day Noah Noah and Noah's sons Shem, Ham and J-A-P-H-E-T-H -E and Noah's wife, the three wives of his sons with them entered the ark. They even, they and even every beast after its kind, all castle of their kind, every creeping thing that creeps on the earth after it, after its kinds, and every bird after its kind, I just read that, sorry, every bird of every sh sort and they went into the ark to Noah two by two all flush with and which it the breathe of life so those that entered male and female of all flesh went in as God had commanded him and the Lord shut him in now the flood was on the earth 40 days the water increased and lifted up the ark and its rose high above the earth the waters and increased on the earth and the ark moved about the surface of the water and the water prevailed extremely on the earth and all the high hills under the whole heavens were covered the water, 15, cursed, and all the flesh died that moved on the earth. Birds and cattle and beasts and every creeping thing that creeped on the earth. And every man, all and who was the breath of the spirit of life, all was on the dry land died. 
So he destroyed all living things which were on the face of the ground, both man and cattle, creeping things and birds of the air. They were destroyed from the earth. Only Noah and those who were with him in the ark remained alive, and the water prevailed on the earth 100, 150 days. Okay, that is chapter 7 of Genesis. Um, next week, we're going to be starting chapter 8. Um, I was going to do it this week, but, you know, because it's only five minutes, but I'm going to go ahead and um, stop it here. So I'm going to say a prayer, then I'm going to get off here. Dear Heavenly Father, I come to you in prayer. I thank you for another day of life. I thank you for another day of my family's life. I thank you for helping me understand the Bible better so I can read to others. And I can keep learning. I can keep learning myself, too, because there's not, I know there's never nothing we can learn in the Bible. And I just pray for a role, you know, that our climate and all that can be saved. And I say all this in Jesus' name. I pray. Amen. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this Sunday Bible's reading. Uh, hopefully, I'll be back Wednesday. I am... I'm getting back on schedule. I've been practically making videos every day, so I'm pretty sure I'm back on schedule. Um, I should be on here doing Mass Monday sometime tomorrow. But anyways, if you like these type of videos, I'd love to have you come join me here on my journey. Until the next one, stay safe, stay blessed. Goodbye.